Have you seen the Tianqing ancient city 500 years ago? This is the place where Miao King Gan and Zhu stationed troops and stored grain. Sophisticated city walls. A huge space and an armory that has never been found. It has become the biggest mystery of this cave. 565 year old earth stone. What interesting discoveries will you make after going deep into this cave? Next, follow me through the thorns and thorns. Looking for the Miao King's military camp. This is more than 500 years ago. The ancient military camp is hidden in this dense forest. We are moving forward through thorny obstacles at this time. Found it, found it, finally found it. Now we have. Came to this Ganva 565 years ago. Built ancient military camp. You can see that this location is particularly hidden. We use drones on this mountain. I took the photo many times. In the end. Still found this place. It is said that there is an unknown armory inside. Hidden in a secret passage. What update? Let's go into this armory and find out. See if you can find some traces of the ancient Miao people. What about this city wall? It still looks indestructible now. Its height is about 7 meters. The width on the left and right is almost 13 meters. The height at the top and bottom is about 1.6 meters. This is actually an ancient Qianqing village. If behind us, that's right below Xiangyang. Here is some backfill. If there is no backfill, the hole should be in a relatively low position. Now let's come in and take a look. The walls of this camp are very slippery. It is a structure made of stone imitating wood. Above is an arch. The thickness of this city wall is about 1 meter and 3 meters. It is a duplex made of two city walls. It's a little wider inside, almost 1.8 meters inside. I just felt it was only 1.5 meters tall when I was on it. In fact, this one is about 2.2 meters tall. Come in like this and you can see this. The stone arch above. All are made of stone imitation wood with a similar structure. After coming in, this is an entrance to the underground space. There is a stone step next to this. Go up like this. On the right is a simple outpost. There are holes drilled into that stone. There used to be a security room here. Let's go up and take a look now. This step is built very steeply. Come up like this. This is a small second floor. This one has shooting holes designed on it. It is small on the outside but big on the inside. This stockade was built in 1458. It's been 565 years now. Look outside here. That is to say, 565 years ago. This firearm has already appeared. At this time we... Adu. This is also an outpost. Go straight into the depths of the cave to have a look. This is the same as the last time we were in Guiju, the Xianyu cave we went to. Its structure is very similar to. There are also very steep steps to go up on the right. There is a bit of fragrance on this ground. Incense fragments. There is also cinnabar on this. What to do? Drew a pattern. Take a look at the tunnel entrance. It's quite dry in here. This cave was not dug artificially. It is adapted to local conditions. A city wall was built at the entrance of this cave. The inside of the cave was transformed into this military residence. The tunnel goes straight down like this. There are many ruins of city walls here. It's a bit like a pigsty here. This should be. Earlier. This Miao ancestor raised pigs here. Inside this. A bone. These small tunnels are not deep. So where does this cave lead to? Unknown. What a big space. Look behind this city wall. We used a strong flashlight to illuminate it. 
Look. Here you can see that there are one after another in the cave. Small fortress. What is that place? It's water, it's water. I said why is it moving? Makes me a little nervous. There are many Chinese bats resting here. The walkways on the ground are covered with saltpeter powder. There's one here. Relatively large stone pillar. It's very slippery in here. Take a look at Xiao Shiyuan. What's going on inside this stone courtyard? What have you hidden? There is a lot of luminous sand on the ground. The luminous sand is mixed with the moisture in the cave. It's very slippery. Look at this aisle we just walked down. It is slightly higher than the terrain next to it. Most likely when it rains heavily. The area next to this one is flooded. The wall next to this may be a reservoir. This place is full of stone courtyards like this. There's a lot of space here. The height is almost 20 meters. The tunnel is very wide and the air is pretty good. If this hole has several exits, air can form convection inside. There will be no lack of oxygen. There are people from the past here. The marks I made when I came in to explore the cave. There are also Saoxinchi here. Red half soil. Maybe they burned a fire here to keep warm. Next to this is their firehouse. There are also traces of Saoxinchu here. There are some more on this. Porcelain. Fragments of clay pot. There are many green tiles on the ground. There are some clay pots here. Why are there tiles in this cave? They are all made of green tiles. What is this? A fir tree. What is this done? Floor stove. This should be the most ancient earth furnace I have ever seen. An underground stove dating back 565 years. How many people are around here? There are also stools around where they used to sit. There is fire pit food in Enshi. The prototype of the fire pit dish should come from this kind of stove. This should be its kitchen. Look at the top of this rock wall. Black and autumnal. Do you remember our four treasures of the study? Paper, ink and pen. The prototype of the ink was made of smoke and dust. Grind it and add something special. After beating and sinking. Finally, pen, ink, paper and inkstone were formed. That ink inside. Everyone, look at this side. The top of this cave is as black as ink and smoke. How much ink can I make? There are many white and yellow fungi on the roof of the cave. Looks like a sky full of stars. Very beautiful. There is the same thing here. Zauxinchi. And some naughty tiles. This is very exquisite. Like that diamond fine bracelet. Utensil handle. Look at this instrument again. Its thickness is almost 2.5 millimeters. 2.5 millimeters. It can be seen that tomorrow we will have a good year. That potter making technology is already very mature. There is also a glaze embryo made of a brush on this. A bat is calling. The main cave passage should go through this way. Zeoxintu is everywhere. Inside this. Will there be a second floor? Go up and have a look. It's all such rubbish. There seems to be a blockage in front of this place. Its main path should be from my left hand side. This past. Gotta climb up here.
It is said that there was a time inside this place. I have escaped thousands of people. We didn't know until we entered this cave. There is a universe inside. There is a lot of space. Look, there's one in front of me. Artificial stone wall. This has to be climbed up from here. Very narrow. This should have collapsed later. One that collapsed. Small gap. There seems to be room up there. Go over and take a look. Come up from here. After coming up. It seems that I didn't see the cave passage. Are there no other caves? All smoke and dust. This is a relatively high position in the cave. So a lot of smoke and dust will gather here. Came up from here. The volume is not large. Maybe only a hundred or so cubes. We came up from here. Now, return to its main cave hall. It seems to be going down from here. This cave is really a bit narrow. There's a big cave here. Maybe 20 or 30 meters high. There are many man-made ruins on this ground. It's like a jar. Continue to go deeper. The ancients were still quite powerful. Such a small hole. Come in. To have such a big space. Big shaft. This may require equipment. Here is another military station. I should have done it in this hall before. Many bedrooms. Cave passage. It seems to be divided into two. You have to go down and take a look to find out. There is a curtain of water dripping down from above. Some bone fragments can be found on the ground. There is light ahead. Look! Garrison Station Garrison Station. Here is another very beautiful city wall building. It really feels like you can shoot a blockbuster movie here. This should be the foundation of the house. In the past, it was possible that there were earthen walls built here. There is a big well in the middle. There are many pieces of porcelain under this well. You can go down from here. So clear water. Very good water quality. We are now passing through this stone gate. Go and have a look in front. What kind of scene is it? So clear water. The Miao ancestors built the city wall here. Make defense on this. There is a deep pool in front of you. Both sides are rock walls as sharp as a knife or an axe. This is really a good place that is easy to defend but difficult to attack. And where we import. It is in the depths of a sinkhole again. This cave has it all. Two exits. There is a large space inside that can accommodate thousands of people. It shouldn't be a problem to station troops there for several months. But it seems to be quite humid inside now. People who live there now are more likely to get rheumatism. Out of the cave, ready to go down the mountain. Although I couldn't find any of this Meow ancestor inside. Army. But a lot of man-made remains were found inside. When everyone sees this kind of monument. Must be protected. Don't let it get damaged again. So that's where we took the video for this issue. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.